if you uh, if you want to connect multiple slaves also you can connect uh, here uh, like one module will be acting as a master and now you can have um, multiple audio boards as slave now now we have a, our audio id in audio id uh, you can go to examples and uh, you can see here wire so wire is actually i i to see uh, it has some examples here and we have uh, master reader or master writer and slave uh, receiver and slave sender so now first case we will use ma master writer so we'll open master writer you can see here uh, wire dot has been included uh, there is a header file which is included and um, which is going to work for i to c so it says uh, if you use wire dot begin it is i to c bus join and uh, then uh, here wire dot begin transmission 8 is your device number becomes 8 so the slave device has to have this num uh, number so it is a uh, slave address to say uh, if you are using a slave, uh, slave device uh, modules like bmp180 all those things which i have explained before in raspberry pi also and uh, th that will have a certain address here we are just going to test so our device id the slave id will be here uh, 8 and then um, uh, we are going to send a string uh, that is xs x space is so we have uh, five bytes uh, that is x space is and then again space so this becomes five bytes and then we are going to write uh, uh, integer here that is x plus plus some uh, number which is going uh, by a byte to say um, then uh, uh, here again we will open if we have a master writer we should definitely have a master uh, slave receiver so slave receiver will have the code like this that is uh, again wire dot begin 8 so we have say, uh, we have the uh, wire dot begin transmission as 8 there and master so here wire dot begin becomes 8 here so that it uh, it can identify the the slave uh, that is having this number as i already told you about master here the master right uh, is actually having wire dot begin transmission 8 and the slave now has wire dot begin 8 here so the, uh, through this uh, the master can identify the slave if you are going to use one more board you can number it as 9 and then um, the, uh, there we can make it a wire dot begin transmission as 9 also so this is how so now we are not uh, worried about it we are going to just to have two audio board one master and one slave then wire on uh, wire dot on receive receive the uh, event is uh, like uh, there is going to be an event uh, and uh, when you uh, when a master is going to write uh, we are creating an event uh, uh, to say, say what the slave is going to do in that event so it is going to read the data which is sent by the master and uh, it, uh, whatever uh, whether the, is it, uh, it is a string or an, uh, anything uh, is going to be a byte here so for uh, receiving the string we are uh, using this and for receiving the integer uh, we are using this so next um, uh, we are going to print it um, the slave uh, slave is going to have this code and we are going to print it now um, this is how the code uh, works and uh, if we upload this code I have already uh, connected two audio ports that is uh, one is in COM29 and COM21 uh, so COM29 let's upload uh, master writer to COM29 so Now code uh, ma master has been written to form uh, one of the audio board and now slave we have um, form 21 so we will upload this code to the slave. Now we have our slave as the com port selected here so we can open this and check whether master is sending the data and slave is in. so slave is receiving x is 71 x is 72 that is what the master is sending here that is x is the data so it is uh, in incrementing so this we can see here in our uh, com port 
now we have um, we uh, we understood what is master and slave here now next is going to be our uh, another example we have here is master uh, reader and uh, slave sender so uh, so like uh, now master is uh, master is writing something to slave and slave has received in the first case uh, now we are going to see how a send, slave is going to send and the master is going to read so what i have done is i have modified a code like uh, everything can be in a single code so i have a master read um, uh, read write code here i uh, i've used a similar code from the audino which i have um, copied and pasted here and then i have used uh, this uh, this particular code from uh, master uh, read and uh, you would have already seen this in master write then um, again you can see here slave read write slave read write we have we already saw th this code in uh, slave uh, receiver and now we have one more event which is there and that is wire dot write and that wire on request here uh, on request on requ request event one is receive event and here we have request event so when master is going to request something slave is going to send something so slave request event is like if we, uh, it is like whatever master is sending master is sending x is something so slave is going to say it is received so this is what we are going to see here so everything uh, comes into a single code now now uh, as i have already told you my slave device is in com 21 i am going to upload this code So my slave board is uploaded with this code. So it is going to receive data from master and it is going to send an uh, kind of acknowledgement for uh, our case. It's just an assumption. So we are going to have a, a slave send this data to master. And now we will upload the master uh, read write. Here I have added two more lines that is serial dot print uh, ln and then delay just to receive and then uh, we have uh, received is actually having 8 bytes so we will have to make it 8 bytes and depending upon the number of bytes which we are going to uh, send so received will have 8 characters so it becomes an 8 bytes so we have 8 now um, we are going to upload this code and so the board uh, master board is connected to com29 so i am going to upload this code So the master is sending value colon space the x value which is incrementing and then it is going to request uh, the data from a slave also so request around 8 bytes so now we are going to see two outputs that is one we will see here that is slave read write uh, first i will open say a serial com 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 21 where the slave is connected so slave is going to receive uh, the data from master at the same time I am going to open another serial monitor that is Teraterm and here you can select COM29 and then click OK. So now the slave is sending the data received to the master. So this is the slave, master sending the data to slave and this is the slave sending the data to master. This is how we can see outputs here. So to understand the simple uh, I square C communication, this video was made. And um, if you have, uh, you, you can also try this. And if you have any doubts, you can just uh, comment below. And uh, thank you, thanks a lot. We will meet in another video.